Hey, how's it going guys? Blue Tempest here and welcome back to another video. So for today's video, we have a pretty special manga unboxing for you guys. I just got this package from Right Stuff. It is a pretty big package and there is a box set in here. Obviously, if you guys did notice the thumbnail and the title of this video, it's very obvious that this is the Claymore manga box set. So this is something that I've been so excited to get for such a long time. If you guys did watch my manga hype video where I talked about my most anticipated manga of 2022 and also just some manga that I wanted reprinted or just manga I wanted printed in English in general, I did mention the Claymore box set in that video. So I'm really glad that it was very soon after that video that the Claymore box set came back into stock. This box set has been out of stock for definitely well over a year. I remember ordering this box set about a year ago, around the time when I first started collecting manga. I knew I really, really did want this box set in my collection. And like I said, I did order it on Amazon. There was a listing up for under retail. After a few weeks, that order was canceled. And so I honestly kind of lost hope because after that, this box set was just so expensive in the aftermarket. People were selling it for like $500 on Mercari and stuff like that. But I had a feeling that they would eventually reprint it. So here we are now in March 2022 and the Claymore box set is available. I am pretty sure that you can still buy this um, on Right Stuff. It may still be in stock by the time this video is up. But if not, I do apologize. But I know that there have been listings on other websites, Amazon included as well. So if you are interested in this box set and you see it in stock, I would highly recommend you purchasing it as soon as possible because who knows when the next time this will get reprinted. But enough talking, let's actually get into unboxing this box set right here. And like I said, I did get this from Right Stuff Anime. So I'm very, very glad that I did. Hopefully the packaging is very good. Uh, we'll see. All right, and I think we have it open here. This is a very interesting box from Right Stuff. I haven't seen them package it in a box with like these flaps so so big, but I'm pretty sure that they have been um, doing this for all of their box sets. So taking off the wrapping here, I gotta definitely take this paper out of there that has my information on it. And there it is, the Claymore box set. Let me try to show you guys here. Um, it's gonna be pretty hard, but there it is, the <laughs> Play more box set. I'll, I'll get this out of the box to show you guys a little bit more in depth. All right, so I got it out of the box and man, is this box set beautiful. Right now, um, I'm looking at it and it looks like there is no damage whatsoever. So kudos to Right Stuff. Let me go ahead and take the shrink wrap off of this so we can take a look inside and see all of the volumes. All right, so I took the shrink wrap off now and let me uh, go ahead and show you guys all the different sides of this box set. So right here, we do have the front of it with our main character. I believe her name is Claire. I could be completely wrong on that. But um, yeah, this is just such a beautiful image. I love just the artwork in the series. The art style is fantastic. And the giant sword right there, very uh, reminiscent of another fa very famous fantasy series where the main character also carries a giant sword. But yeah, we have her in the front there and then she's also in the back where we get to see like a back view of her. And then the sides have um, some just images of, I, I don't know if these are monsters or what, I, I have n I'm not 100% sure what these are, but they look really cool. I love the just aesthetic of this box set. Um, right here in at the top, we do have a little handle there. And then um, 
a little symbol there with the Claymore logo. And then on the underside here, nothing really that special, except for like the Shonen Jump logo and all of that. But yeah, for those of you who don't know, Claymore is a fantasy action series. I haven't read it or watched the anime, so I am gonna be going in very blind into this uh, manga. But Claymore is a series, like I said, from the beginning of me collecting manga, I knew I wanted to get into this because I love fantasy. Fantasy is probably my favorite genre when it comes to manga and anime. And the anime has been on my watch list for years. And I am glad I actually didn't watch the anime because from what I hear, um, the anime doesn't adapt the entirety of the manga and it kind of creates its own ending. So I definitely want to get into the manga first and then watch the anime. So um, just glad I'm able to get this entire series in this box set. A lot of people compare Claymore to Berserk. Some people even call it the sister series to Berserk. Um, and while I don't think that Claymore is gonna be as graphic as Berserk, just because this is a Shonen series instead of a Seinen, the manga over here in the West is released under the Shonen Jump line. So I can't see this series being that graphic. But I do know that it is probably going to be a very dark story, um, which I am very, very intrigued about and just very excited to get into. Now, looking at the box set without the shrink wrap, I do see that there is actually a little bit of damage here. I don't know if you guys can see this, but there is like a little like line right here, like a little uh, crease on the front of this box set which honestly, it, that really does suck. Um, and I don't think it's anything having to do with the packaging or anything like that, because this was shrink wrapped. I think it's just unfortunate that it came like this. It might be honestly just a defect, but honestly, I don't really mind as long as the volumes inside the box are in good condition. Um, and it's not that big of a deal it's not super noticeable or anything so but let's get this bad boy opened um we have you know some velcro keeping it open right here and this box set does remind me of the rosario vampire box set which i do have it is kind of set up vertically like this um whereas i know a lot of other uh shonen jump box sets such as assassination classroom demon slayer Dragon Ball, Naruto, One Piece, and all of those other box sets. They're more set up uh, horizontally. But either way, I think that the vertical nature of this box set really fits it, especially with the artwork here. So yeah, just wanted to point that out. But let's get this open, like I said. And right here, we do have some artwork of some hands. Right there interlocking which that looks really cool that's a super super cool image and then as we open this box set up man this is this is insane guys hopefully you guys can see this but we have here an another colored image of claire i hope that's her actual name but yeah this looks just so beautiful this is such an amazing image and then we have all of the volumes right here the spines have that kind of classic shonen jump look to them with you know very simple logo and um just all the different colors i think that it looks really really good i love the spines for these and i just love this kind of classic shonen jump look for the volumes let me go ahead and actually take out the volumes so you guys can see all of the covers and everything. Because from seeing some of the volumes of Claymore in the past, I can definitely tell you that the covers for this series are phenomenal. I love the way these covers look and I just love, like I said, the aesthetic of this series. So starting out with volume one right here, and then we got volume two, volume three, volume four, Four, volume five, volume six with a just really terrifying image there. Volume seven, a very, very cool cover as well. Volume eight, 
volume nine, volume 10, volume 11, volume 12, volume 13, volume 14, volume 15, which looks incredible. I love the color palette here with the very pale blue and yellows on this cover. Volume 16. Volume 17. Volume 18. Volume 19. Volume 20. Volume 21. Volume 22. Volume 23. Volume 24. Volume 25. Volume 26 with probably one of the best covers, if not my favorite that I've seen. This looks just absolutely incredible. And then the final volume, volume 27 right here. And then this box set also does include a little illustration booklet, which I don't really want to flip through too much because I don't want to spoil myself on anything. I also do see that there is some pretty explicit artwork in here, but let me find one that I could show you guys. Just some incredible artwork in this little booklet. Like I said, I don't want to flip through it too much because this is definitely something I want to save until I read the entire series because I think I'll enjoy it a lot more that way when I actually know the context for all the art in here. But yeah, I am a sucker for art books and little extras like this. So very, very cool to have this as well. You can only get this as part of the box set. So very glad to have uh, this in the collection as well. And then just to kind of show you guys how the box set looks without any of the volumes inside, we do have some artwork on the inside there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it um, looks like it's just some, you know, warriors battling, uh, something like that. I'm not 100% sure, but it, it is very aesthetically pleasing as well. There's a lot of detail put into this box set, which I really do appreciate because I have seen some other box sets where you know, behind the volumes, there's not really anything there. It's just like black or like a solid color, but I'm glad they went the extra mile for this box set here. But yeah, guys, that pretty much does it for my unboxing of the Claymore box set. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I am super, super glad to have this in the collection. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Um, have you guys read Claymore? And what are your thoughts on this series? I think I'm really going to enjoy it. And I think I'm really going to be into Claymore uh, once I do get around to reading it. But if you guys did enjoy the video, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. All of my social media links are going to be down in the description. So make sure to follow me on there. If you do enjoy my content as well, then make sure to hit that notification bell. That way you can get notified every time that I do upload a brand new video. And with that, guys, that does it for this unboxing video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.